Okay, <clears throat> let's get stuck in. I do have a whole term for that, which comes from Paper Mario. So anyways, for those of you who don't remember which dungeon we're in, this is the dungeon we're in. Funny as I was thinking about what Cyclad mentioned earlier. I think it was Cyclad. No, it was Cyclad. I was right, I was right. I feel like this dungeon wouldn't be that bad if not for the slowdown. Like, the concept of the dungeon's okay. Then again, I'm one of those absolutely bizarre people who doesn't think the Water Temple from Ocarina of Time is that bad of a dungeon. And that's a current opinion, because we have a current review of Ocarina on the books. It's one of those things that gets memed on, but isn't necessarily true. It's just everyone memes on it, and therefore, that's how that works, right? Oh god, you're right, ISD! I'm gonna be like, yeah! Zoom! As soon as I get out of here. Oh, I wish I had the vacuum equipped. No, exactly. That's exactly right, Coolius. That's not really a joke. One of the things that is we, I've, I've noticed over years and years of analyzing fiction is that there's things that get memed on for being bad or awful or ridiculous or whatever that generally aren't true. It's just because people said it so much, it gained its own cultural momentum. Which, I, I, it sounds like such a dumb way to put it, but I don't know how else to phrase it. it. It's literally cultural momentum. People say it, so people said it, so people say it, right? So it just becomes one of those things. Now, obviously, individual opinions are going to be whatever. That's whatever. Hey, Zalook. Welcome to Not Quite Mega Man. I hope you're doing okay. I haven't seen you in a while. That's some concern there in the voice. Try not to be too concerned, because, you know, I don't want to overshare. <laughs> I'm never, I'm never gonna stop making fun of that jackass for that. God damn. 50 years from now. This, anyway, sorry. <clears throat> I'm good to know that you're currently doing a state that could be considered okay. No, 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 no. So there was this streamer who was not me, who, I'm gonna try and summarize the story. One of their viewers hadn't been on in a bit. So they pop in and he says, hey, how you doing? And then she says, you know, life sucks and here's some stuff that went bad in my life. And he says, whoa there, overshare. And just kind of, you know, and of course, chat then dogpiles her. And it's like, you... What? Don't worry, though. I'm not a rule zero violator. Although some people would argue that. Because some people think that me giving negatives to games that they love is me being a dick. Which reminds me of something else. Oh my god, John. Yeah, this is a Mega Man game, John. Check it out. Um, something I used to do that I don't do anymore and will never do again. I don't know how many of you actually remember that I used to do this. This was a long time ago. Way before the Oblivion line. I used to give out pity positives. Do you remember that? The reason was really simple, too. 
I felt bad. Because I'd be reviewing a game that someone loves. And they, I, it's not a that great of a game. So I'd give it a positive. Like, hey, you know, and I, it was always something I would just make up. Like, just absolutely stretching my brain to come up with something. I don't do that anymore. And if you ask the internet, it's because I'm a dick. Dick mode engaged. Really? Yep, positive for Mega Man being blue. And not Mega Man. That, you know what, that counts! Safe! Okay. We did it. We did it. We're cool. Everything's cool. <sighs> this is rock, although this isn't rock. Because, I mean, this is like a thousand years after the ZX series. By which time rock had been dead for like a century and a half, so... Thank you, Lord Harriman. As always. I look forward to someday actually writing the Mega Man rewrite and deciding what happened to Classic Rock because Canon never answered that, uh, that question. They didn't even really hint at anything. That's the funny part. Like, we know that Wily built Zero. Okay, big surprise there. And that's kind of as far as that goes. So, Lord Hermon, I will put that towards the Ratchet & Clank HD Collection, the Naruto, etc., and Stellaris. Oh, yeah, I should probably have the map up. Because, as I mentioned earlier, my enjoyment of this game has gone up substantially since I've been using a walkthrough. Secretly, Rock and X are the same person. I'm probably not going to go that route with it in the rewrite. I don't know what route I'm going to go with it in the rewrite, but I'm not going to go that route with it. Well, you see, my Kermano, it's because Twitch has been trying very hard to make money. They might think, don't most people, you know? Try to make money? Well, actually, no, believe it or not. Because making money isn't the primary goal and highest priority for most people. But when you care about making money more than anything else, well, that's how a priority list gets funded. Or full. Filled. Built? Built. Because here's the thing, and a lot of people don't understand this, a priority list doesn't mean something is unimportant to you. What a priority list means is when there is a conflict of interest between two items, the priority list determines which item wins. And if making money's at the top of the list, then everything else can go directly to hell. Any questions? You know, you say that, Mike Tomato. I'm not sure I believe you. Evidence seems to be contradictory. Really wish I had the vacuum right now. Oh my god. Okay. Thank you, Mike Romano, for the sub. If you want to put that towards something, please let me know. If you want to put it towards up to three somethings, please let me know. If you want to punch me in the face, oh, that's going to be hard to do, but you know what? I'll try to make it happen. Just making sure there's nothing over here. Nope. Okay, cool. Turn! 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 Another turn! Turn! Yeah.
I mean... That's always been the goal, Lord Haramont. It is... Exceptionally rare that I'll just go to take a baseball bat to a game, right? Now, I'm not going to lie to you. It is occasionally relaxing to be able to just take a baseball bat to a game because nobody cares about it. But. But generally speaking, that's not the goal. That's that's the that's the rare exception. That's. That's the thing I do every now and again to relax, you know? Like with Secret of the Stars. I, I do appreciate it, Lord Haramont. Oh my god. I, god, Mega Man X6 was one of the very first games we ever gave a negative to enemy variety for. Look at that. Yeah, Secret of the Stars was just... Ah, uh, and I just just picture me there with a baseball bat. Wham! Wham! Just wailing on it. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. What's really sad, and this is going to sound absolutely bizarre, this sc game is not scoring particularly well, and 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 that that is what it is. But it's so it's it's like I'm trying to think how to explain this. It's not that bad. It, it, I talked earlier about flow, right? Remember me talking about flow and how important that is when we were doing the grind earlier? It kind of comes into something I've talked about before, because there are games that score badly that irritate the snot out of me, that just playing them sucks, you know? And then there's games where eh, it's not going to score particularly well because it has several aspects of game design, but... At least I'm not tearing my hair out the entire time, you know what I mean? To use a direct comparison, this game, for all its gameplay flaws, is playing substantially better than Thomas Was Alone was. Thomas Was Alone was a game that I couldn't wait to stop playing. You know what I mean? Like, there's there's a difference in, in mentality there. I've talked about this a lot, because it's come up a lot. Some games, even if they're bad games, aren't just, you know, Argh! And that would be this one. Yeah, Evo, I was trying to be a good friend for someone, then I failed at it completely! So, hair had to come out. It's, it's why I'm bald right now. It had to happen. Wait, you can charge your buster in this game? For real, I think it, I have to have a special weapon equipped, which I, of course, do not. More water bubbles. Where the hell am I? Because people hate me, Ross. That's why. Okay, so hang on. So we're... Oh, we're here. Oh, I see where we are. We are not where I thought we were. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, okay. Uh, no, I didn't. I'm sorry, Mike Tomato. Hang on. Pause this so I don't get killed here. Uh, where was it? Where was it? There it is. Railway Empire. Give me a sec. Railway, Empire, Quake Block, and Strange New World. You got it. Thank you again, Mike Mono. I do hope I can push back the darkness one more day. Honestly, I'm not sure, Zillow. Because, yeah, for the Mega Man rewrite, I'm kind of spoiled for choice. You know, it's a similar situation I face in the Star Wars rewrite. I have a wealth of material to draw from. So much so that I can pick and choose whatever the hell I want to. Having said all of that, something that has already been suggested, which I am leaning towards, is I, there, I am at least likely to go ahead and carry forward ideas of the Robot War, my own novelization of Mega Man 1, into the Mega Man rewrite. Let 
Heavy dodge. I mean, that makes sense, Jordan, because... So, have you played Mega Man 11? Because in Mega Man 11, Dr. Light comes up with the idea to make a fully adaptive autonomous robot. Dr. Wily comes up with an idea to uh, uh, upgrade, augment existing robots. And honestly, that kind of speaks to their mentalities, too. Light wanted, you know, a, compa a compatriot. Wily wanted better tools. There's actually a weirdly large amount of good storytelling in Mega Man 11. It's one of many reasons I like that game so much. These things have a bit of help. So you probably can't tell, but for those of you who haven't been with us, what we're doing is we're stutter stepping. Because it makes us shoot faster. Exactly, as a look. Wily doesn't care about AI or free will or any of that crap. Light's an idealist, though. And yeah, naturally, Light, who invents the Androbot concept and, you know, Rock, would get a lot of the fame, and that would probably stick in Wily's craw. Oh, I will say this in the Mega Man rewrite Wily will not be evil. No way in hell. It actually irritates me whenever they try to portray him as evil, so that's that's off the table. Yes, yeah, stutter stepping, I, I get the term from RTSs. Here, here's me not stutter stepping, so you can see the difference. Notice not only am I not moving, but see how much slower I'm shooting. Look at that. But if I stutter step, what it's doing is it's interrupting the animation so I can restart my shooting quicker so I can shoot faster. Now, some of you may or may not know the original Mega Man storyline intended that I wrote, I actually did a whole stream talking it out one time, was that eventually, over a very long period of time, over like 10 games, Light would very slowly drift into becoming the villain of the series, and Wily would drift into being the ally of Rock. I'm not sure I want to go that route with it, even though I was very much fond of that overall story arc. So... I don't know. A lot to think about. And then, of course, we have to get into the X era. I have to decide if there's going to be as much of a gap between the classic era and the X era. And then we have to think about the Z era, and then there's the ZX era, and then there's the Legends era. And we're going to ignore the other ones. Oh, it was all mapped out, Pillars of Snow. I was rather proud of how it worked out, but then again... I don't blame you for thinking I'm a terrible writer, since I am, of course. The general idea is that Light would be an idealist. That's that's the, the super summary. Because again, it would be a very slow thing. The whole idea would be the A to Z concept. If you haven't heard me talk about the A to Z concept, the idea is this. Going from A to Z is a huge jump. Like, oh my god! I would never do that! But going from A to B... Okay. Or going D to E? Well, alright. It's a little more reasonable when the step is just one little step, right? So Light would very, very slowly, because he is such an idealist, just kind of drift away from... acceptability. As not, it's because uh, the idea would be that Wily would be the original villain in Mega Man One, but that would be the only Mega Man game that Wily was actually fully behind. Everything else would be uh, be, be something that's being pushed by someone else. Now that doesn't mean Wily gets away blameless, but the idea would be that Mega Man's two through like seven were all consequences that that were left behind because of Wily's reckless actions in Mega Man One. Make sense? So he makes that one big mistake in Mega Man 1, and then they're cleaning up the mess from that for six games. And over the course of that time, Light would be willing to accept more and more measures in order to try and secure peace, in order to try and combat uh, the forces they're going against. And every time they're, they're pushing against something back, he would push back, and then he would push back, and then he would push back, and over and over until finally... Light would reach a point where he starts pushing back against even, like, Rock, for example. 
he starts trying to force Rock to do things that Rock isn't particularly comfortable with. And Light's like, it's okay, it's just for now. It's just for now. Okay, this is irritating on every level. And of course, the idea being that Wily, who in, obviously is not evil, but nevertheless is an arrogant man who has made many mistakes in his life, would slowly just kind of drift into being someone who is trying to make up for the crap he's had happen, right? Trying to fix the mess that he made. Because part of the overall thematic point was that while Dr. Light certainly helped to push robotics into the next era, Dr. Wily is kind of specifically the reason why, you know, why the world of Mega Man jump started in technology. Right? Why the world developed faster than it probably should have is the way I'm going to phrase that. You know, the whole I that's a common idea. You need to understand the kind of thing you're developing in order to understand how to not screw it up. Either way, all of that was old, old ideas for a, a book series I never actually got time to write. Like I said, I'll never wrote the first book in it. And I will never share it with Evo, because then she'd just tell me how terrible it is. But, you know. If you want to, Evo, I'd rather you save that for later, though, because there's actually three separate scenes in the ship, and I wasn't going to uh, do in doodads on any of them, honestly. So, like, just let me... Um, finish, get get those two. Hang on, I'll just do it right. Now. I don't even know why I'm saying this out loud. It's gonna go right now. But yeah, you're right, pancakes. Zach over in Babylon Five was honestly a great example of A to Z. Eh, I don't know if I agree with that, Javin. That's okay. Again, that's that's in the future. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. Right now, I'm in the middle of working on the rewrite for FF1 and FF2 and FF3, and I finally have an idea for how to visually present Star Wars and all of the other stuff in the future, which I need to run by my art director at some point. Okay, so... Oh, I did send you the inside of the ship. I sent you both insides of the ship, Evo. You lied to me! Well, I'm afraid Evo and I just aren't friends anymore. We have instead become ancient nemeses. Listen, nemeses are more interesting anyways. Yep, I'm gonna have to look for a new art director. Mike Kamano, do you want to be my new art director? Wait, I'm Wily? Actually, that makes perfect sense. I'm much more of a mixer than I am a... inventor. Or, to use my own terminology, I don't really innovate, but I certainly codify. I am very good at editing. Like, look at the Extant, for an example. For the three of you who know anything about the Extant. I am damned proud of the Extant. But there's not a single unique idea in the Extant. Not one. And I will never try to, try to, to say anything elsewise. Now, I've put a lot of thought and work and effort into the Extant. And I'm very proud of it. But all of that is edited, mixed. You know, I take existing ideas and concepts and make my own thing out of it. Sigma. I'm torn because there's so many options with Sigma that I'm I'm almost spoiled for choice on what to do with him.
could I could I hit the ground, please? Hey! We found the ground. It took us a moment. Uh, sorry, so ISD, you asked me a question. Hang on, I'm sorry, I'm getting way off into the weeds here. You were suggesting um, the idea of X and Zero sacrifice themselves to stop Sigma, and then a century later someone finds their body, not a repair, they make the new being into X Zero, and the story revolves around the fragments of their personalities and their memories conflicting while stopping a new threat. Well, that sounds interesting um, as a way... So it sounds like... Okay. That sounds like an interesting branching timeline. I'm not sure if that would fit within the existing ones. Obviously, it's a rewrite. So we can do whatever the hell we want. That's what a rewrite is. Like, if I was to try and adapt that, my first thought would be to try and make that the Zero series. So instead of it just being Zero and Omega, maybe it's pieces of X and pieces of Zero. Not, not a complete person in either case, but actual pieces. And each of the pieces is incomplete and feels like that, right? Kind of similar to well, the Mega Man in the Zero series. The Elf War? Honestly, I'd be tempted to just eject the Elf War. Like, I get where they're going with it, but it feels unnecessary in the overall scheme of things. No, we're not going Kingdom Hearts with it, Jarvan. Anyways, Evo, do you want to hear my terrible idea? Well, the uh, the nice thing about doing a rewrite is we know where we're going with the story, so we can add in stuff early. For example, we could have Replicors show up in X1, or even before X1. We could have uh, Dr. Doppler be a thing. We could have Gate be a thing before X6. You get the idea, right? Because we know they're going to be there eventually, so we have the advantage they didn't have. We could do foreshadowing. We could do forethought. They were just making it up as they went. Come on. There we go. Nope, nope. Mm -hmm. What did we just pick up? Was it the buster unit? I think it was. There we go. Wait, no. It was the range blaster? It was the power blaster. Hey, there we go. Yeah, X7 has to be completely identical! Because I hate my life. Alright, um... But yeah, having Gate be a, a, a reasonable character... I mean, we could have Alia actually show up in X1 like she was supposed to be, by the way. I pointed that out when we were doing the reviews of the Mega Mans, because I was treating them as a lore run. Alia was invented for X1. She didn't show up until X5. Think about that for a second. Anyways, here's the idea, Evo. So, I got the idea when I was looking at the World of Lorecraft series, because what I was thinking about was how I was going to do the Warcraft rewrite, uh, visually. Oh, it's going to be great, Magister. I can't wait to ban everyone off the channel. Come. I know, Zolo. What the crap? Anyways, getting off topic, getting off topic. So. Rather than doing what we've been doing with an attempt to try and showcase something approximating the visuals of what's being presented, uh, honestly, take kind of a step back from all of that. And instead, so, I'm trying... Mm -hmm. Hang on, hang on. What is this image? Oh, that's me leveling agility. Well, okay, so imagine this leveling agility image over here is like a, someone's portrait. Just bear with me for a second. And imagine the background is slowly panning. It's okay. I can do that right now because this is my movement speed, right? And so what we could do is no sprites in the background at all. So you don't see Vader. You don't see... Archer, you don't see uh, Cloud, you don't see you know, Rock. None of the actual characters are visible in the background. All you have 
all you have is the background, right? And then what we could do then is use the portraits as the blocking. Um, I don't know how to describe this except by going to details. So like, you know, someone pops up, hey, what's going on? Ah, not much. How are you? I'm doing okay. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Hey, what's going on, you guys? Oh, hey, what's going on? Ah, nothing much. Is, is there anything going on up here? No, shut up. You go away. Okay. And we could use the portrait as the vehicle of animation. Instead of trying to put something in the background to try and present the scene visually. What do you think? I was originally going to do Art Diablo like that. And then you yelled at me for it. And you said, Lord, you're the dumbest, most worthless person on the face of the planet. How dare you still be alive? And I was like, oh, well, okay. Actually, yeah, kind of like the, oh, what do I call them, the skits? Javin? It and... looks like there's a door to another room high on the wall there, too. Do you see anything to stand on? Nah, I killed myself years ago. The bad part is I kept going. I'm just gonna guess that there's something like right here-ish. There's not, of course, so this is all for nothing. Oh, there it is, there it is. Ah! And there's nothing here. God damn it! Well, the backgrounds at that point suddenly become easy, because all we need is a still. Any still. So, Star Wars, we have multiple options for getting uh, areas. In fact, we can even pull animated backgrounds for Star Wars because we have access to Tor. So we could just point the camera at a specific spot and record for a few minutes, right? While the, while the wind is moving and while the weather's patrolling. Um, this is where the, War the Warcraft idea kind of came in, because I was thinking for FF7, we could find some um, background art or, you know, from, from the actual artwork that they used for the backgrounds in FF7 and 8 and 9. Now, it gets a little bit trickier. Okay, thank you, ISD. It gets a little bit trickier when it comes to the more modern FFs. Because, para example, uh, something like Final Fantasy X or XII, we can't just get random background footage of, right? Actually sure where I'm going here. Hey, let's try this first. Well, because there is no such footage, Evo. And we can't just idle in the game because the games don't have the ability to, for among other things, remove the HUD and interface. Speaking from actual personal experience, because I've actually done work on this before for this show. Getting good background footage from a game is a lot harder to do than it sounds. And most games simply don't support it. Some of you probably don't remember this, but I used to use Just Cause 2 footage for the intros to my ruminations. That footage sucked, probably because it was I, what I had to do was chop out the HUD. Imagine the screen you're looking at right now. What I had to do was I had to zoom in the camera sufficiently so that only the portions of the screen that are not actually covered by, you know, the health bar or the minimap or the grappler were visible. It's one of the reasons why I switched over to Skyrim backgrounds, if some of you remember. Skyrim and Oblivion. And then when The Witcher 3 came into my awareness and I started using that, I was able to do a lot more with that because you could actually turn off the HUD in Witcher 3, which was a godsend. Um, but even Witcher 3 had problems. I also had problems with Assassin's Creed Origins, if you remember. Point being, I actually have a lot of experience with pulling these kind of backgrounds, and most games, like I said, do not support it. Okay, so this feels like the way forward. Why don't I, why don't I pull up a map? Let's, let's do that. What do we got here? Where are we? Where are we? Where are we? We're on some location. We are here. See you around, Javin. Have a good one. But anyways, point being, we can't do that on FF10, or 10-2, or 12. And obviously, that's going to be an ongoing problem going forwards. 
Okay, so hang on. What do you want me to do here? Okay, so there's a there's a spot on the ground here. Ghost of Tsushima would have a great background, except for the fact that it doesn't allow them to be animated. If you remember, while I was reviewing Ghost of Tsushima, it was something I was poking at. I was trying to, you know, make sure that... I, I wanted to see if I could use the damn thing. I could not. Okay, I get it. So I have to jet from here? Or up top here, one of the two. So I gotta... Oh, come on! I don't know what this item is, but I want it. It's probably just Zenny. What do you want to bet? That's okay, I got this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I almost had that. I almost had I I can totally make that happen. I can totally make that happen. Hang on, hang on. Ironically, I was trying to think of something even more minimal than that, Evo. But that's probably about as minimal as it gets. Even that is still going to be a decent chunk of work. So what would be a good idea to de-minimalize it? Ah! It was just money! I knew it. I always knew. I give up on... This is my pose right now. I give up on life. There is no hope in the void. I'm going the wrong way. God damn, I'm actually turned around. It, we've been in this dungeon since before the lunch break, Eon Dragon. Does that answer you? Hey, Saber for Wife. Just for you, ISD. I mean, I'm looking forward to the ice dungeon, tell you what. Congrats, Pillars of Snow. I think that's the appropriate term there. Look at all the fish. Look at them dying. As it should be. All fish must die, so that they may become delicious goodness. Okay. okay. We're just gonna go the safe way, even though they're a terrible grocery store. Oh my god, no, that would be terrible, Evo. And you're probably thinking, but why, Lore? Well, 
because that would be an insane amount of work to put on your workload. I would never do that to you. Like, if I was paying you, I would consider not asking you to do that. That's way too much work. We here at the Lorewalkers are not in favor of the 40-hour war week. And by war week, I mean work week, although honestly, let's be real, it's the same difference. Excuse me. While that's true, Evo, that's also that's still a huge amount of work because you still have to find the shots. Yeah, I work a little bit more than 40 hours a week right now, but don't don't pay attention to that. Everything's cool. So, sorry, Evo, I forgot to finish answering your question. Here's the problem. One of the very first things that we ever considered for the Trek rewrite was to use grabs from the show in order to do, basically do what you're talking about, just skip the step about um, drawing over it. So, the problem we ran into with that immediately is threefold. First is the obvious thing. It is a lot of work trying to find just the right screen grab to represent the thing in question. Problem number two, we are inherently limited to what is in the actual shows, which in many cases won't even confine itself to what we're doing in the rewrite. I mean, there's an ensign who is a major character of the, of the Enterprise rewrite who does not exist. She's a brand new character. So obviously that's not feasible, right? And the third problem, and this is kind of the funniest one, finding, uh, how do I explain this? Finding high enough quality grabs for any kind of action shot just wasn't happening. You have to... Like, even if you're pulling from the Blu-ray, there's just, there's blur. There's blur. And so trying to grab any kind of shot, honestly, just looks terrible. So all of that is, is terrible. Any questions? Evo's like, but I want to work 7 billion hour work weeks. Evo, I love you. But no. Also, no, you don't. <laughs> we need to we need to preserve that amazing hand of yours. No matter the cost. Now, the real problem, and I've already talked this out, the real problem is there is no good way to visualize the rewrites reasonably. It is not possible. That's the problem. We're in compromise land. Like, because it's, it's one of those funny things, right? It's like becoming really, really muscular. I know that sounds like a strange analogy, but just bear with me for a second. Becoming really, really muscular is easy to do. It is a solved equation. Just about anybody could do it, barring some basic biological problems or medical issues. The problem is what it involves is spending hours a day, every single day, eating a specific way, and exercising constantly. There you go. Done. That's the solution. That's the answer. 
But you can see how unworkable that is for, you know, just any old person to decide, yeah, I just wanted to be all buff and fit. Okay, well. <laughs> Most people don't have the time, the money, or both. So it's not helpful. I'm not trying to say you're not helpful, Evo. Quite the contrary, you're amazing. No, the point I'm trying to get at is, with the rewrites, we know how to visually present them. I'm even physically capable of doing the presentation that the rewrites really need. I've already done it. I've already done test studies. I've already done uh, proof of concepts for the track rewrite. They looked good. They tested very well. People understood immediately what was going on, even if they weren't familiar with Star Trek. And people who were familiar with Star Trek thought it looked legit. The biggest problem that they mostly got was people being like, oh, I'm not sure what's going on with the sprites, but that usually goes away by the end of the first episode. Done! Solved problem. The problem isn't that. The problem is, that's unworkable. For the same reason that exercising three hours a day, seven days a week is unworkable. Thank you, Cookie Dude. I will put that towards Xenogears. So, like I said, we're in compromise land. What I want to do isn't feasible, so what can I do? Now, other than it's minimalistic, you haven't given me an opinion of my idea yet, Evo. I don't like this whole dungeon, honestly, but I definitely don't like this room. There's a door really high up on the wall, Mega Man, just above where you came in. It's so high, you won't even be able to climb up there. So, how do you get in? Hey, there's the ground. Oh my god. I just had a random thought. Yep, nope, I'm right. I'm totally right. We've got the virtual hide light thing going on here. If you don't know what that means, it's literally faster to stop, swivel, and then start again. Than to just try to turn while moving. Well, considering you're probably the artist, Evo, that second question is more up to you than me. As for the first question, yes. It's, I mean, if you remember, I wanted to use frames originally for Art Diablo, and you said that I was the dumbest, most stupid, and worthless person in the history of the universe, and I deserve to die. Something like that. That's how I remember it, anyways. Nope, that's not even close. Not even close. I'm sorry to ask this, but what platform Cycloud? I feel like I'm missing something here. Mm -hmm. Delicious jank. Uh, why? you do this to me, Evo? Top 10 Evo betrayals. Yes, there's so many of them. We've actually got a whole list and everything. So from here? Man, I don't know. We're gonna try it.
There must always be a Darth trait. Oh my god, that's your new Darth name, Evo. Instead of Darth Iliani, it's Darth Treya. The Betrayer! Sower! I don't know what a sower is, but we got it. What the hell is a sower? Something to be used for building something. Okay, cool. Whatever. Probably worthwhile for some reason. I mean... Okay, so obviously I am joking. I don't deserve to die because good things can't happen to me. But... I was kind of thinking, similar to the original intent for the R. Diablo portraits, if you remember that even. If you don't, then I can remind you briefly. there'd be a place like this here. Mega Man, there's a giant reaper bot in the middle of that area. Huh? It doesn't look like it's going to attack you, though. Hey! I've got an idea. Why don't you try jumping on that reaver bot's back? What? It's not attacking me, Roll! Why? Okay. She's trying to get me killed. That's just straight up what this is now. She is trying to get me killed. Oh yeah, let's do mobile precision platforming. In this game, underwater. In in this stage. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ugh. You see the large pillar in the middle of that area? On my scanner, I can see what looks like a key on top of it. Can you see it? Roll. I wasn't going to rip the... Well, I mean, I was going to rip the portraits directly. But my point being that doing, you know, that kind of a small-scale, small-detail portrait is what I was looking for um, for some of the future stuff. Because the whole idea is for the portrait to take up a relatively small amount of real estate like this on the screen. This is actually about the right size, roughly speaking, although maybe not the right uh, ratio. You know, something like that. Not even close. Not even close. Oh, I have no idea, Evo. I don't even have the FF1 portraits yet. I haven't really been thinking about, you know, all of Star Wars yet. Or Warcraft, or Star Trek. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. And it's a mimic! Okay, it's not a mimic. That would honestly have been very funny if that was a mimic. I would have then cried, but, you know, whatever. I'm just... Ah, there it is. No, I don't know how to play platformers. What are you talking about? Blind jumps in this game? Booyaka.
I, I feel weird moving at full speed. I, I don't know, Evo. At the moment, I would say zero. Do zero portraits. Wait until your hand is feeling better. Chill. Take care of yourself. You are more important than anything I might ask of you. Other than taking care of yourself. I'm sorry. That is the only save point. Holy crap. You're right. This dungeon sucks. <laughs> oh, wow. And now we got a boss fight. It looks like the key is in the room at the end of this passageway. Tell you what, Evo. After you've finished the FF1 Fortress, after you've finished the doodads, and after you've let your hand rest... And after you've taken time for yourself, which you're doing, right? Then, we can do a proof of concept thing. Yes, time for yourself. It's something I've never heard of before. But it's something that all of my employees are going to do. Because we here at the Lore Walkers are like a family. Thank you, Eon Dragon. I do always appreciate. Thank you. I will jot that down for Bug Fables, Mother 3, and Spirit Fair, because yes, we are still doing the plural voting method. I don't think we're gonna undo the plural voting method. It is it's it's been wildly successful and has done exactly what it's supposed to do. Well we do have, you know, a bit of drill. <laughs> uh let's see what happens. Wait, no, I can fix that. Oh, wow, that was easy. Not even a boss fight. Sweet. All right, wrap it up. You did it. You got the second key. Good work, Mega Man. I don't believe it. Bola lost to a little punk like you. How did you get through the door? If you think I'm a pushover like Bola, you've got another thing coming to you. I work for a living. I don't hold back ever. Not even if I have to fight a little kid like you. You're not getting past me. Not as long as you have that key. If you aren't going to hand it over nicely, I'll just have to take it from you. Oh my god, that's funny. Look at his health. Look at his health. Hmm. <laughs> Not bad for a kid. <laughs> such a pushover. I haven't had this much fun in a long time. You wait. I'll be back. <laughs> That's, this is like a barely upgraded drill. By the way. Like, I think we've done one upgrade on the drill. Do we have to walk out of this place? Oh my god. Uh, probably FF14, Venetia. In fact, no, definitely FF14. No question. The only dungeon we have to walk out of, and it's this freaking dungeon. 
Oh my god. Future dungeon. Future dungeon. Just, I, I mean, I'm not like I'm complaining, but there's no enemies on the way out either, and and no water for that matter. So it's like, why is this even a thing? Like, I'm not trying to complain, but okay, now I'm trying to complain. But why? Well. Let me answer you in simplicity, Venetia. So first of all, I obviously can't stand WoW Classics. That's probably coloring my opinion. However... However... Here's the deal. FF14 goes out of its way to not have quest content on the gameplay axis. That's what you asked about, was the gameplay axis specifically. What I mean by that is there is no real gameplay design to the quests in FF14. It's all about the story. However, that means that the gameplay design then goes entirely into things like class design, boss design, and dungeon design. And there's quite a few dungeons, pretty much all of which are mandatory in FF14. And there's quite a few bosses, and there are, of course, quite a few classes as well. That's where the... I think... I can't believe that worked. That's where I think FF14 wins in terms of overall gameplay score over a Cloud Classic. Because while the leveling experience may be more mm, absent, I think is the word I'm going to use, on the gameplay axis, it is nevertheless much better in the, uh, the dungeon design and the boss design and the class design. Whereas WoW Classic classes, uh, this is the nicest way I could possibly say this, are terrible, and the boss design and dungeon design in WoW Vanilla, most of it is kind of crap. Yeah, I should probably go ahead and kill these people. I guess. Yep. Wish I had the vacuum. You're right, Jordan. 700 pluses to gameplay. That's an interesting way to put that, Venetia, but yeah, I'm with that comparison. Again, trying to remove my own negative biases towards WoW Classic here, but WoW Classic didn't really know what it was trying to do. Like, they were inventing what MMOs were back in there, which is something that's important to keep in mind. Whereas, with FF14... They not only had WoW to fall back on in terms of design, they had FF14 to back on, too. Because FF14 got an entire revamp to fix all the things that they made mistakes on, right? Don't mistake me. WoW's combat, its core combat, its enemy design, its controls, its smoothness, its netcode, all of that stomps FF14 into the ground. But I think WoW Classic was missing the critical com critical component of having anything other than the quests really worth doing, you know? It wouldn't be until, my opinion, it wouldn't be until late vanilla or BC when they started really nailing down the encounter design, right? When they started being like, okay, this is how we're going to go with this, and we started getting Noxoramus or a lot of the BC dungeons where they started really being like, okay, let's make this, you know, meet content. Let's really focus on the dungeon design. And dungeon design has then meet content for WoW ever since. But in vanilla, most dungeons were always, and the bosses were regular enemies that had more health. Because that was normal back in the day. That was how boss design was back in the day for uh, with regards to MMOs. 
I was actually just wondering that, Cycloud. Unfortunately, I don't remember how to get out of here now. Because it's one of these two elevators, and I don't remember which one. I guess we'll find out in a second. Oops, wrong way, wrong way. I guess it would have to be the bottom one, wouldn't it? Because I can't reach... No, I can reach that one. I think it's this. I think this is what I want. As I say, this, this feels like the most irritating and frustrating thing it could possibly be. So it's probably this. No, I get you, Venetia. I do. Like I said. The visual design of this game. You know, I've been waiting for you to ask that. I'm not actually joking. Do me a favor, Evo. Be awesome. Okay, now that you've done that, look at the visual design of Rock here for just a second. Look at the shadings, the highlights, the little sparkle to indicate a little bit of surface to try and indicate the kind of material we're made out of. Even though, like, for example, the drill arm is only using a grand total... One, two, three... Of six different colors, and that's it. Notice how it's very carefully used and distinguished from each other, so you can always tell which part is which, so it actually looks like a drill arm, so you can tell where's what. There's actually a lot of good art design in this game. It's kind of weird, honestly. I've already given this game a plus for sprite work, because while I'm not really impressed with the brickwork, as you can see by the... Well, there's the brickwork right there. The sprite work is honestly kind of excellent. Yeah, no, this, this game has legitimately aged well. No jokes, no lies. No 701 pluses to gameplay. Ironically, I usually put things like visual design in the story axis. So that means the story axis is just going to be doing even better. Challenging is the wrong word, Venetia. Did it take more time? Yes, because I was going through very, very deliberately trying to make it so I could one-shot everything inst instantly in order to try and move through things. But there was never and never has been any challenge in questing in FF14. That's just how it is. That's how the game is designed. We talked about it during the run. They leaned out of quests hard. There's a reason why most quests in FF14 are talk to a person, Go to a specific spot, summon one mob at that spot, kill that mob for that quest, and then go back and talk to the person. Yeah, they're tasks. Exactly. They focus their effort elsewhere, and honestly, good on them. It kind of hurt the review, I'm not going to lie to you, but knowing where your strengths are and focusing on your strengths is absolutely a valid gameplay design decision. So I feel like I need to go up here. I did play City Heroes all the way back in the day. In fact, I was actually kind of curious uh, when, how you were playing it right now, but I don't want to pry. Because I know that you're secretly a criminal! But no, for real though. Um, the only reason I never got into City Heroes was a very, very basic reason. I don't play MMOs solo, and none of my friends played City Heroes, so other than just trying it out for the sake of trying it out, I... wow. I never actually got into City Heroes. You know, I keep expecting there to be, like, an event or something. Usually when a video game forces you to walk out of a dungeon, it's because they actually want you to have a trigger. There's an event, or a cutscene, or a battle, which is waiting for you on the way out of the dungeon. I keep sort of waiting for that to happen, and it keeps not happening. I'm starting to get a little questionable at this point, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm starting to think this is just a terribly designed dungeon. I definitely don't have a walkthrough over here that says, Upcoming boss! Right there. I didn't like DC Online. Unfortunately, I can't give you a good reason why right now. 
because it, I, I only played it the one time and I, it just it didn't click with me, so I just walked away from it. I don't know, 107 Trihexia? Something like that. ESO has started growing on me, and it's for the reason that you would expect. If you have any experience with any MMO ever, you can probably tell me right now exactly why ESO is starting to grow on me. Hey, Lataria. For those of you not experienced with MMOs, it's because MMOs at launch tend to suck. And then they get better over time, usually. So, we're, we're still kind of in Vanilla Land, but we're leaving Vanilla Land, and the further we get into the game, the better designed it's been. So, that's been fun. Yeah, no, MMOs get better or die, that's exactly right. Like, I hate to say this, but Wildstar was a good example of a game that failed that test. Uh, whenever Halloween is, I don't know, Lotario. I'd have to look it up. Or they're a scam! Yeah. Uh, well, it kind of varies, Mike Kamana, because they don't do it by province for some reason. Well, of course, obviously, Jordan. Obviously, obviously, FF14 was the greatest in 1.0. And anybody who'd say otherwise is just a madman. Uh, give me some weapon energy. Give me more weapon energy. Yeah, anybody who'd go on a 90-minute tirade about FF14 1.0. Why was FF14 so bad at 1.0? Could someone link Evo the 90-minute tirade about why FF14 was so bad at 1.0? Yeah, Tor is one of the big exceptions. Tor bounces absolutely all over the place in quality. Even in vanilla. Like, there's no... There's no certainty. There's no logic to Tor's quality. Tor started off good and bad and terrible and awful and great and wonderful and middle ground. That's all in vanilla. Then the first expansion hit and it was okay. And then we hit the second expansion and it was worse. Then we hit the third expansion and it was also bad, but not as bad. Then we hit the fourth expansion, which was suddenly great. And then it went right back down. And it's like... Uh, Pick a lane! And yeah, STO, STO follows the usual route. It started off bad, and then it got better. And then the sister of Takuma came out. I don't want to waste my weapon energy, if you're wondering. Karen Gambit's legit and all. Probably. But then there's the Sister of Takuma. He knew the stuff before Sister of Takuma wasn't static. Uh, no, I think we have too small of a barrier to entry for driving. At least in the United States. I don't know about other countries. It is disturbingly easy to not only learn how to drive, but to get a license here. Uh, I believe that would be Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2, Venetia. That's been funded for, like, a couple years at this point. And that game may never come out. Hey. Anyway. 
Yeah, it'll come out right around when Star Citizen will. Woohoo! I mean, it might be, Mr. Red. Uh, where the hell am I? Okay, hang on. Let me scroll up the map a bit here. Okay, so I want to be there. Okay. Baldur's Gate 3 is supposed to come out this year. We'll see if that's actually true. Yep. Northwest. Northwest. Okay. Yep, no, I'm going the right way. Uh, several people have worked on Bloodlines 2. And then stopped working on Bloodlines 2. And then started working again in one case, and then stopped working again in another case. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, Baldur's Gate 3 has actually been getting fairly regular updates. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines 2 is in who knows land. Elder Scrolls 6 isn't being worked on at all and shouldn't be. Oh god, yeah, the System Shock remake. I was actually excited for that one. How much would you have to pay for me to play Baldur's Gate 3 on console? Uh, let's see. I think $30 million would do it. That sounds appropriate. No, they shouldn't be working on Elder Scrolls 3 because they're working on Starfield right now. That's why. Let me be very clear. They aren't working on Elder Scrolls 6. At the best, absolute highest end, they are in early pre-production on Elder Scrolls 6. Probably not even that much. And that is because they've been working on Starfield. Let's be very real. The only reason they even announced that there's going to be an Elder Scrolls 6 is so that investors would shut the hell up. I'm not even joking about that. That is not a joke and not an exaggeration. Mm, I'd say Prime 4 will come out before Elder Scrolls 6. I like how we didn't have a save all the way up there. Wait. I didn't think you'd gotten this far. A little more, and I would have lost you. Okay, then. Ready for another round? Okay, okay, Latario. Just for you, 40 million. Kick the day. Ah, you little. Hey, hey, hey. Dead. You're pretty strong, aren't you? That's a big gun you've got. But it's not enough to hurt me. You kids, do they think you're so hot? Well, there's still some fight left in this old man. I'll... <sighs> My back. Ow, 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 ow. How do you have a back in that thing? Help me. Somebody, help me. I thought, I thought I was supposed, supposed to be your partner, partner not your nursemaid. Nurse We're willing, willing to call it a draw if you are, boy. Come on, Claymore. Let's go. Oh, if it weren't for my back, I'd have wiped up the floor with them, I tell you. Yeah, 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 whatever you say. Now, I want you to imagine that we actually died on that fight. And then had to go back and fight his first form again. Because there's no save in between those two points. I also want you to imagine you die to any of the trash on the way up. Again, no save. Yes, it's, it's thankfully the boss fight sucked. But that's... Like, it's only redeeming feature, which is sort of pathetic. Yeah, what was the dungeon I was just in? What was the name of that stupid place? Nino Island Ruins. Jesus Christ.
This video is allowed. Probably, Jordan. I don't I don't want to even know what the gameplay style is of, of Tron Bone. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I want to be surprised when we get there. I'm curious though. Mega Man X6, Evo. Okay, so we we're apparently over the hump. That's good, because that dungeon was one of the worst dungeons I've seen in recent memory. Like, hey, joking? At no, no joking, no exaggeration. It is a massive dungeon, which has a lot of verticality, in a game where you can't move the camera up or down really well, in a game whose mini map is not only irritating to use but doesn't really cover verticality all that well in a level with irritating enemy design, on top of the fact that you have to go through with the super slog, which is frustrating on every level, and then there's the triple jellyfish boss fight we had to push through at the beginning of the game, and then the completely boring second boss fight of what's-his-face with one save point right before it, in the entire dungeon, then you have to go back through the dungeon manually and fight another boss fight again. All of this compounds onto itself. This is a terrible dungeon. No exaggeration. No memes. No jokes. God damn it. <laughs> oh. I am... It, it, I can't believe... I said this in the review. I can't believe I'm saying this. I am glad I spent like an hour and a half this morning grinding my face off so that I wouldn't have to face what I know I would have in that dungeon if I was playing this, like, without review, with just for my own self. Because I guarantee you I'd have gotten down there without several of the upgrades I had, and without the level of health I had, and without the armor I have on, and I would have had a very high chance of dying in a massive dungeon that I remind you, because this is really important, has one save point in it, in the middle. Like, you have to go all the way around to the dungeon, save, and then you have to go all the way back up. So it's halfway through the whole experience. It's actually probably more than two-thirds of the way. But you get my point, right? I, I might have actually put the game down. I might have legitimately put the game down and walked away from it.
All right, game. What do you got? What do you got for me? Yeah, come on. Win me back! Come on! I've played plenty of games that have a terrible midsection of the game. Final Fantasy Mystic Quest is probably my favorite example of that. Right? So surely the end part of the game will we'll stick the landing and we'll start getting some positives back. What, the laser side cloud? That's just a guess. It, I was right. I, I'm sorry. I was guessing the laser because I've played Elden Ring. And if you've... <laughs> See, Jordan gets it. Jordan gets it. I, if you haven't played Elden Ring, there's a spell which Nyx takes a while to charge. Once you do, it's just... And it just absolutely destroys whatever you're looking at. And that's, that's what I was picturing there. All right, what do we got? Joint plug. What does this give me? Because I can afford it, but I'm not sure if I want to. I, I will Google it. What does this give me? Joint plug. Hang on, hang on. Joint plug gives me... Uh, the adapter plug. Adapter plug... Let's you equip three buster parts. That is super worthwhile. Yes, please. That is super duper worthwhile. Oh yeah, hang on. How's our how's our healing right now? We actually do need a refill. It's okay. We actually got a decent chunk of Zenny down there in that hellscape of a dungeon. Because I was bothering to get all the chests because I knew we'd get more Zenny because I've played this game for a day, which means I'm now an expert on it, according to the internet. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of bouncing back and forth between being sincere and making fun of myself. I probably shouldn't do that, because I know not everyone can parse that properly. But that's worth it. Let's, let's grab that. Let's grab that. Let's grab that. The airship docks? Well, just look at the wonderful doodad design of this airship dock. See? Look at all those doodads, Evo. Look at them. This could be your game, Evo. This could be the game you make. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm being mean. Um, Here, let me give you an example. This is from FF6, because of course it is! What else would I use to make an example when it comes to doodad design? Give me a moment. Nope, this is your game now. Congratulations. Diablo 3 is kind of the king of doodad design, but no, I wasn't going to go with that. Uh, no, I need the docks. I suddenly have a very loud, violent desire to play FF6. I don't know why. It's very strange. I don't know where this is coming from. You know I haven't played FF6 since we did the last review. In any format. You might be thinking, well, of course you haven't. You haven't any time. Uh, valid, but that's actually not why. I've been saving it. Okay, this actually isn't great doodad design, but it's something. This is not a great showcasing, but I'm still going to link it to you. Well, let me put it to you this way, Evo. I want my hair first. Okay, so that was supposed to be an image. There you go. You can just kind of see a little bit of what they're doing down there with that. Um, let's see, what's another game that has airship docks in it? 
There's not a lot of airship docks in sprite work games. It's usually more of the 3D stuff. Either way, there's a little bit of an idea. Oh, I should probably leave Discord. Yep. Let's save our game. As a reminder, this is the first save we've had access to since before we fought two bosses ago. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Does Trails in the Sky have do good doodad design? I'm, I'm not asking that, uh, like, facetiously. I legitimately don't remember. Because we're specifically trying to look for doodads here. Do you have pictures? Because that's what Evo would need here, is, is reference material. I don't remember, that's the problem. My stupidity knows no bounds! Yes, could you develop any of this stuff? The adapter plug! Wow, I, we've got access to that right now, holy crap. We got the spread buster now, too. That's cool, ISD. FF9's dock. That's a good example, but that's 3D. It might... Is a 3D image going to be acceptable, Evo, to give you some ideas? So the spread buster, huh? There's the aqua blaster drill arm. I guess we have anything else. Okay, in that case... Hang on. Let me pull up this thing. It's called the FF9 Theater. Everyone should go watch it. If you don't, you'll be hunted down and killed. Okay, so... That's a lie. That's awful. I would like it if you watched it, though. We spent a long time on that. Chapter 3. I know exactly which chapter it is. Of course I do. Pause. There we go. Why wouldn't I? Okay, so I'm gonna, like, pause it here. It's like three minutes in. Wait, you have Evo? You probably hated the guy who voiced Vivi, though. Just, oh. And the guy who voiced Garland. Oh, my God. Terrible. Uh, actually, I suggested Albrook. Nike is a good example, though. Uh, okay, so improve. Oh, right, we just spent all our money. Right, right, right. Uh, there we go. But we should be able to... Yay, equip a third buster item. Yeah, that, that was probably worth it. Listen, Roll, Roll knew what she was getting into when she, you know, robbed me of all my crap. Anyways. Hmm. Now to go grind for three hours. I'm joking, I'm joking. Let's go advance the plout. Got the key? Good work, Rock. Did you find the, meet the Guildmaster? How is he? Suicidal as always. Both Farrell and I go way back with him. We had many adventures together. Then why is he so eager to blow up his own town? Maybe once it's all over, we can all get together and catch up. Anyway, on to the next key. You should be able to find it on Salkata Island. The city there, Kimotoma, is famous for the gold statue in the center. We've gotten word our old friends, the Bonds. Bones? Hmm. Are already there. Indeed, the reports say they've already begun exploring the ruins. Your mission is to free the city from the grip of the pirates, then find the key in the ruins and bring it back here. Good luck. Are you going to pay me for any of this? I'm just, I'm just wondering. Like, why am I going along with you guys telling me what to do? You know what, Cycloud? Maybe he's got the right idea. Mm -hmm. 
He's like, no one can ever do that dungeon ever again. <laughs> Everyone's safe now. Just gonna check the vendor. You know I could tell? The vendors are universal, though. It's like a Pokemon game. Well, a modern Pokemon game. Like, they all sell the same stuff. They just, you know... That's good armor that I can't afford. And I want the flame barrier? It's 150,000 zenny. When do I need it by? Because if the next dungeon's the fire dungeon, then god damn it. You know what? We're we're just going to try not doing it. We're going to we're going to not grind and we're going to see how much we regret that experience. God, we're underwater again! <laughs> that Kimotomo city's been taken over by the bomb. That's why I had to land out here. The city's in the desert to the north. Before we can get to the ruins, we've got to help the people in the city. I mean, we don't have to. We could just go straight for the ruins. I'm just saying. Say, that's the rank S one, right, Cyclone? My guide is not leading me astray. Yeah, we don't even have rank A right now. We're rank B. We're rank junk! Just like in real life. <laughs> you know, I like spicy food too, Cycloud, but I mean...
<laughs> I'm glad you like it, Ross. I mean, I liked it, obviously. I know, where I go, boom, and they just go flying. That's a thing that happened. Can't I drive a truck? Well, you just did, Evo. Because remember, no asking questions about asking questions. It's against the law. You know, my niece has become aware of the Oblivion Guards meme. And so she's actually started joking periodically in just her random playing arounds of, Stop! You violated the law! And it's really funny hearing her say that. It's super adorable. I, of course, cannot emulate her voice, so you're gonna just have to picture it. No, she's not aware of the Skyrim memes, and God willing, she never will be. See, honestly, I was that was my first thought, Cyclops, but then I was like, no, this game would never let me do that. So I gave up on it immediately. Someone link my my niece saying that Uncle Lorebro is evil. And there you go. Because that's a real thing that happened on stream over Christmas. No, Evo. I have the airship. No, you know what? I want you to draw an airship, Evo. Go! Because I'm secretly so evil, despite all my constant talk about how much you need to not overwork yourself, I secretly want you to overwork yourself so hard that it would probably be one of the worst things I could literally ask you to draw. How did you see through my evil plan? Okay. Going around the side. I knew it, Evo. That would explain a lot. Decided I hate this music. Then 
the one I'm thinking about right now, Evo. There, okay. Thought had. Yes, your cheering helped tremendously. You're gonna help us? That's great! I'm a truck driver. They caught me and locked me up. I thought I was going stir crazy. Let me know if you need my help. I'm a truck driver. I'm a truck driver. I'm a truck driver. Hmm, I don't think I'm getting through to the guy. I'm afraid not, Evo. You've been exposed as the scam you are! <laughs> it just... halt! Come on! I need you to drive a truck! I'm not telling you. Tell you what, if you actually gel it, gel it? Guess it, I'll tell you if you're right. I was thinking of truck driving, truck driving, boom, 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 boom. All right, I gotta go to the truck. Talk about the driver who's driving the truck with his truck driving, driving. How did you get here before me? Hey there! Thanks for helping me out there. Let me return the favor. No need to thank me. Just hop on. Did you paint your abs on? I'll teach them to try to take over our city. They messed with the wrong people. Get ready to jump. I'm gonna ramp. The rest is up to you. Okay, I was actually amused by that. One of the positives I've jotted down as a potential, which I think I'm going to codify, is humor. There's a lot of absolutely ridiculous humor in this game, but I'm kind of with it, you know? Like, that little s side swipe thing as, as the car truck was going around the corner was just perfect. And speaking of someone who has done quite a bit of animating in his life, it's harder to do than it sounds. Someone has to actually go out of their way to make that little eh thing. But someone thought, no, no, it's important to show the truck turning up on two wheels while it's coming the corner, just to emphasize the scene. It's like a two-second scene, and someone bothered. <sighs> yeah, and we could have missed it if we jumped the fence. said, this music is driving me insane. Resident Evil 43. Take a look around, Mega Man. Maybe you can find something there. Well, I found the bounds of reality. Behold! I'm gonna be honest, I probably would not have found that. It's okay, Evo. It's okay. I'll tell you on Discord. Although, since you didn't guess it, what am I gonna charge for that? I've got it! If you do some doodads for me for the FF1 rewrite, I'll tell you. Hey! Thank you, Bragman. So that's what my knee sounds like. Oh, 
Well, then I guess paid for, isn't it, Evo? I mean, a lot of the low poly things look weird, but yeah, low poly data. I guess that's as low as it gets right there. There. Like, his face goes away. He's just a brown tuft. Then we get a little closer and his face pops in. He also, like, his ears are weird, because, like, in his right ear, the upper right pixel, it's four pixels, the upper right pixel is the colored one, but in the other ear, it's the lower left one. No, I have that, obviously, Zalok. Oh, no, the statue's gone. What do we do? Everyone's dead. Listen up, everybody! Take everything of value that isn't nailed down, you hear me? I mean everything! I don't want there to even be a toothpick left! Got it? Mr. Tiso, we collected all the folding supplies and loaded them in the ship. Um, what should we do with the toilet paper? We may be pirates, but we're not barbarians. We'll let them keep the toilet paper. Yes, sir! Ugh. I just can't believe we don't even have enough money left to get new stock for the store. I guess I have to face facts. We'll have to close shop. And here I thought maybe we'd be able to walk the straight and narrow for once. Wait a minute. Maybe I'm giving up too easy. If we can get our hands on the mother load, we'd at least break even. That means... Uh, Mr. Teasel? Mm. Huh? Oh, don't tell me he's here already. Sorry. Oh, come on, you guys. Those machines are cheap, you know. Hey, Tron, Tron, can you hear me? How are things at your end? Tron here. We've more or less figured out where the key is. Now all we have to do is figure out how to get inside. Bye-bye. Good work, you two. You be careful down there, all right? Is he there already, Tizo? Yeah, it looks like it, sis. But don't you worry. I will take care of him. You be careful yourself, big brother. <laughs> Leave it to me, sis. All right, everybody. Are you ready? Let's get that blue boy once and for all. Yes, sir. First of all, hi, Raiders. <laughs> Welcome to Mega Man. Huh? What's that? Long time no see, blue boy. It's been a while, hasn't it? I hope you haven't forgotten about me or what you did to me. If you think this time will be like the last one, you're in for a big surprise. See this? This here statue is the symbol of this town. It's a cultural treasure. It's more important to them than anything. What do you think would happen if it got destroyed, hmm? Even if you don't care what the people here think about you if it's destroyed, just think about how much it would cost to replace it. It's solid gold. Who knows how much it's worth? If you don't get in our way, I'll put it back where it belongs before we leave, okay? All right, then. Get going. Get out of here. <sighs> Don't listen to him, Mega Man. He's just a pirate. Do you think he'll keep his promises? He probably plans on stealing it anyway. Even if it's destroyed, the people might forgive you. Don't worry, Roll. I can beat him without damaging the statue. What are you babbling about to yourself? I said, get out of here. If you don't, I'll make you leave. Go, Blitzkrieg! Okay. Second of all, and this really needs to be re-emphasized, how much debt is he in if the mother load would only barely break even for him? What in the world? Okay, fine, we're just gonna break the statue. It's just a cultural artifact, it's not like it matters. Oh yeah, I've got the drill right now. That's right, we still have the toilet paper. Anyways, sorry, hi Iron Warrior, us, play, and Chris Bilker. I, mm. 
I've actually never played this game before, believe it or not, so this is the first time for me. Okay. As you can tell by how much I suck at it. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to the market and buy a really big banana and be like, yeah, I found your statue. Is that made of solid gold? Yes! Yes. Why is it a brown spots? Um, that's that's bronze. I added some bronze to, to add some flavor to it. You added flavor to our cult? Look! You want your artifact back or not? Yes, yes, okay, okay, jeez. Yeah. Get out of the sand. I was gonna say, this is certainly an interesting boss battle. He also has a much less uh, vuln period, I noticed. I've barely done any damage to him. Look at this. He's bouncing all over the place. Okay, hang on, this is ridiculous. Surely I'm doing this fight wrong. That is way too long in between invuln phases. Or, excuse me, between vuln phases. Whoa, okay, jumping. Ah, yep, hello. Come on, come on, game. Work with me here. Nope. I don't want to work with me. Oh my god, I just want to get on top of the thing. The game's like, no, no, you can't get up there. Okay, there we go. Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> he doesn't even have that much health. He's just, he just can't be hit most of the time. All right, I can live with that. Actually, this looks like this is the right move. Because now he's doing that. I'll get you! What? Ah! Okay, never mind. He is, in fact, doing it. As is his wand. Have I saved lately? No reason. Jesus Christ. Say, I've kind of, it's kind of been burned into me that I, say, I have to save every time I see data after the Sino Island. This holy crap. You know, considering I have knockback resistance, I'm wondering what happens if you don't have knockback resistance. A chessboard in an airship. Well, I'd be hypocritical if I said I didn't like it because I like the blackjack. So, I guess I'm hoist on my own petard on that one, Evo.
he didn't even care about the statue. Inconceivable, what was he thinking? That statue was a cultural treasure of this island. All the food and supplies we gathered have also been destroyed, Miss Diesel. We have nothing left to sell in the store. It's up to Tron and Bond, and we have to get the mother load. If we don't, I don't know what will happen to us. We won't even be able to pay rent. We'll be homeless. Mr. Tito! All right, everyone. We've lost. Let's get out of here. Hey, Mega Man! Don't think we're finished. You haven't seen the last of Tito Bond. Why do we just watch them? As they leave. Mega Man. Now that the bonds are gone, I was able to move the flutter into the city. I'm close by if you need me. I mean, granted, he's not exactly, you know, really evil or anything like that, but still. So these are the third ruins. I'm picking up something really big near you. To your right. It's probably a giant reaver bot, but I've never seen one this big. Be careful, Mega Man. I mean, I do like killing people. I was sort of expecting a save point here, actually, Cyclone, so... Obviously there is none, so we're not doing that. So, apparently there's a quest we could do right now, which gives us 300,000 zenny. And I was looking at it like, okay, what's it involve? Well, it involves being evil until our armor goes dark, which increases the price of all stores by 20%. But it gets us 300,000 zenny. We're not doing that. Now you're probably thinking, wait. I know there's a way to get rid of it. And you're right. All you have to do is donate a million zenny. That's it. Actually, apparently, if we donate a million zenny anyways, we get a discount on all the shops. See you around, Jordan. Enjoy the positives. I mean, the lunch. Uh, what am I doing? Hang on. Hang on, I gotta see. What picture are you talking about, Evo? I do not understand which picture to which you refer. I'm afraid thou... Oh! You're talking about the bar. Yeah, okay, so that's actually a shot from the air, the ship Graveyard from Final Fantasy V. You probably can't tell because I'm terrible and the most worthless person in the entire world, but I've actually already touched it up to make it look as good as it currently looks. It's actually got all kinds of holes in the floor and other problems as well, you know, in the original version of the shot. If it really bothers you, I'll clean up the rest of it, and it's just going to take some time. But the answer to your question is no, it's not supposed to look decrepit. It's just that's what I have to work with, so here I am. Alright, so we're not doing that side quest. Where the hell is anybody? Where am I? What am I doing? Do I have a map? I do...
What is our sin at? Jeez, we have nothing. We are super cheap. Or poor. So how many dungeons are after the fourth key dungeon, out of curiosity? Just for the sake of kind of getting a little mental map of scheduling. best of shoes. Of course, we have to have robot mummies, because you know somebody somewhere would invent a robot version of mummies. As if regular mummies aren't bad enough. Uh, I was actually just looking at the walkthrough to see if I should change my weapon. Unfortunately, it's not... Usually at the beginning it'll be like, you should bring such and such, but it's not saying anything about that. I'm just kind of reaching, reading through it, trying to figure out what it recommends. Yeah, Pharaoh Man was like, well... Yeah, I don't see any barriers of drilling on the map. I do see a boss fight, and then a mount another map, and then another boss fight, and then another boss fight. There are three boss fights in this dungeon. Okay, okay. I wonder what would happen if, like, they did that with traditional Mega Man. Like, imagine you start up Mega Man, and it's like, all right, welcome to Mega Man level. And then there's just boss fight, boss fight, boss fight, boss fight. Then again, I'm the weirdo who actually enjoys fighting multiple Robot Masters at the same time, so what the hell do I know? So normally I'd bring the homing missile, because that's the weapon I've been leveling. But you know, got a better idea. Kind of, yeah, Blade to all. And by kind of, I mean definitely. Although what I was just thinking of specifically was more, uh, I guess that's the X collection, added the fight multiple bosses at the same time thing, which would be cool too. Uh, well, I don't know if you know this, Cloud, but every Mega Man game that's ever had a boss rush, with, I think, two exceptions, has gotten a negative for that. So, um... Cool. And I think those exceptions were X1 and X8. Yeah, no kidding, it's a load. The X Legacy Collection was really thrown together, which is a damn shame, because the Classic 1 Collection was done very well. Not the Classic 2 Collection, just the Classic 1 Collection. Which is just extraordinarily confusing. Ah, well. Hello, I know. I do not recommend playing X7, and honestly, I kind of don't recommend playing X8 either. X8 is certainly better than X7, but, I mean, that's a low bar, and there's still some very irritating stages in it.
That freaking rider mission is just unforgivable in X8. I am O. Yeah. X7 is all be like, all right, Zalok. If you don't ever make that thing to scrape the website, I'll make you play X7. That's not a that's not a dare. That's like a blackmail. Never mind. Oh yeah, then there's the city stage. Yeah, like like I said, there's there's some issues. There's some issues. Damn it. Very well. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> okay. That all that, it's locked. What, what am I running up against? Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. I know, I, I was just joking around, so RL greater than other things. Lord knows it has been a terrible time for a lot of people I know right now. Which really sucks. Not been a good few months. One of my favorite jokes was actually by Pro Jared about X7. So then the game starts, and then he plays Axel and Zero and not X, and he like put in explosion sound effects as he emphasized that point. It's like, ah! Damn, <laughs> sorry. Speaking as someone who has absolutely no problem changing the main character of a Metroid game. Or a Witcher game, or anything like that. That still was rather questionable in X7, especially since, as several people have pointed out, in the English cover of X7, X is the cover. Like, it's just it's just him. It's just X. What in the world? I'm gonna have to fight that, aren't I? What? Hello? We're gonna just leave now. Alright, let's do it. Lava time! Lava, lava. Lava. Oh, that's, that's data. Sorry, data. Wait, you can have a save point not at the very end of a dungeon? Is that allowed? See you around, Zalo. I mean, again, the title thing I'm a little willing to forgive, because like I said, I'm okay with swapping the main character of a series. You know, I'm fine with playing a Legend of Zelda game where we don't play as Link, for example. Or like I mentioned earlier, I'm cool with not playing a Samus. Hi. Can I help you? But yeah, 
X7 was a little bit, huh? Also, we're on fire. I don't feel very all right, but thanks. Yeah, actually, that's a great example, Blake Javel. I would be very pro a Di Diablo game that does not star Diablo. Um, am I going to stop being on fire at any point in time? Okay. Cool. Well, it'd be nice if I could see where the lava is without the camera being, you know, the camera. I know exactly how I'd feel about it, Ira, because that's every Zelda game we've ever played. That's not fair. There's a couple Zelda games where you can play as Zelda briefly. Oh, I noticed ISD. I figured this was kind of an event boss, and then he hit me for half my health in one shot, so... I don't know what to think anymore. Can we just leave the room? That's where we came in. Can we just leave? Let's see, we played a Zelda in uh, Spirit Tracks. We play a Zelda in... Uh, that actually might be it. As far as non-Gaiden games. Because, yeah, there's Hyrule Warriors, there's Smash. That doesn't really count, so... Wait a minute! There's something funny about that door. I think you should take a look at it. Well, that's not, A, not a video game, Heart of Blood 1. B, not a Zelda game. And see, stir Okay. Oh, all right. We got rid of another one, everyone. Bit by bit, we will kill everyone who knows that it was ever existed. Bit by bit. Um, game. I did know that, Europe. It's going to be interesting when we get there for a review, because I'm not erasing that save. You didn't have to, Evo. Do you know what I was thinking about, Evo? Let's get about your hand. And how much I wish I could just make it feel better. Okay, gonna be real, that would have never occurred to me. Making a new profile to be able to get ink access a second save is not and has never been an excuse for that negative. But yes, we could cheat the system in order to gain access to another save.
Why do we care about energy on the weapon, though? I'm a little confused by that. Why is that an um, Evo? I was just concerned, that's all. Well, Evo's like, you must never be concerned, my young apprentice. Give in to the not caring about others side of the force. And I'm like, but, but, yeah, okay. Whatever you say, master. Where am I? Should this be the door? This is the door. What the hell? That door's locked, so I can't do anything on the west side of the dungeon yet. I can't go in there yet. I already went there, so I missed something here. That's not the jump button. Okay. Cool. This is the flame jet room. Yep. Okay, cool. Mm, occasionally, you're a... I like more objective-based stuff anyways. And I did have a couple of good experiences in Ultrac Valley every now and again. But I'm just not in the PvP mindset and I haven't been in a long time. It looks like a lock was released somewhere. Do you know which door might have opened? To quote myself, there's only three possibilities when it comes to PvP. Either I'm destroying them, in which case neither of us are having fun. They're destroying me, in which case I'm not having fun. Or, we're somehow miraculously actually having a good match, in which case we're all having fun. Guess which one of these is the least likely to happen. I'm more into co-op myself. Unlike Evo, of course. She just likes crushing her foes.
wait, you can perform well in PvP? Is that allowed? Oh yeah, much better dungeon than Nino. My god. I mean, granted, it would be really hard to be a worse dun dungeon than Nino, but this is a better dungeon than Nino. Interesting gimmick, better layout, better save. A save spot. Less reliance on having specific gear equipped. Yeah, less annoying than the first one, too. This is actually probably the best dungeon I've been through so far. I-M-O. It's even logical in how it's laid out. You go through? Oh, well, you can't go that way. Well, how about this way? Nope, you can't go that way. How about this way? Okay, you can go that way, and there's a switch, which opens a door. Okay. Well, now we have a way to go forwards. Do you believe that at this point in my life there's only two raids I have not done in WoW? And, yes, they are the two most recent ones. Sanctum of Domination was the second most recent one. So therefore, by logical discourse... I think that's the most second most recent one. The last Shadowlands one I didn't do. I did do the second to last Shadowlands one, which was actually pretty good. Even the Sylvanas fight was legit. Although the group we had... Um, Even though the door opened, I'm still getting the same reading. I guess it's not open all the way. There are probably two locks, and the second one is open by another control panel. Look for the other control panel. Okay. <laughs> the, <laughs> the group we were with uh, couldn't seem to figure out how to manage the Sylvanas fight, is how I'm going to explain that. The Sylvanas fight is not exactly an easy one, but it's very well designed. It's just, you know, not for everyone, I suppose. my life now. You know what, I take that back. There is actually a gear requirement for this place. I don't even think about that. It's even an optional gear thing, just like the last one was. Still, it is still a better dungeon. I mean, you don't need the jet booster in this last dungeon either, Cyclone. I'm reading the walkthrough, trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do next. Do 
Did I not? Hold on. No, I did. Whatever, let's double check check anyways, just to be sure. No, you're up. Why? Uh, okay, let me try that then. I mean, I have plenty of documented evidence about how stupid I am about figuring out what the game wants me to do next, so... Mega that what you will. It'll be like this big glowing neon door saying, Go through here! And I'll be like, where do I go next? Scratch head. I mean, I don't know if you've noticed that this is a dungeon crawler, you know. So of course I'm t doing terribly at it. Dungeon Blaster. I like it. There. Okay. Looks like that did it. Do you know which door is unlocked? Uh, oh, okay. So I'm already on fire. Even just for the position of data alone, this is a better designed dungeon than both of the previous ones. Okay, we got this. Be careful, Mega Man. There's something inside, and it doesn't look like a Reaver bot. It's... It's... It uh, must be really solid if even you can't knock it down. If we could just get that rock to fall, we could probably get the lava to stop. We've got to hurry, though. Teasel says Mega Man's already here. Bubble, bubble. Bubble. True. It's just that I don't want to see him right now, you know what I mean? Mega Man? Is there somebody else there? Uh, yeah, it's, uh, um, uh... Huh? Oh! Uh... Oh, go date her. Jesus. Mega Man! What's happening, Mega Man? Or go date him. Uh, yeah, but, uh, they're uh, acting kind of, uh, funny. Funny? What do you mean, funny? Just what's so funny about me, huh? What do you think is so funny? Uh, nothing, I just... What about you? I see you're still letting that, that second-rate mechanic boss you around. You're the one who's funny if you ask me. Mega Man, is it that Bond woman again? Remember, she might be a woman, but she's still a pirate. She doesn't fight fair. Why should you? <laughs> what? Anyway, do 
whatever you want. You can let that poor excuse for a spotter boss you around for the rest of your life for all I care. We've got work to do, and we'd appreciate it if you'd stay out of our way if you don't mind. We'll stay out of your way until we find the key, all right? Got it? Good then. Bye. Oh. Okay. What do you want? If you want to help us, fine. Just say so. Otherwise, stay out of our way. Well? Sure. Mission start! Say it said they were gonna pick them up. There you go. Guess I can do it too. Sorry. Does it even have the option to target them? Like, that actually feels like a programming oversight. Here's your allies! Bang, bang, bang! Ah! Why are you shooting me? Well, my only way to aim is targeting and. I could stop targeting you, Tron Bond. Oh, that's so sweet, Mega Man! That's also lava, Mega Man. Really? Why is it healing? You saw that, right? Like, its health bar was at empty, and then it refill. It's, it's actually filling, even as I speak! Fine, you do it. Oh my god, Evo. Oh, it's, it is much better, Cyclone. No question. to cut off the flow of lava to the room with the Reaverbot. Now all we have to do is figure out how to defeat the Reaverbot, and we're set! Bubble? Huh? Bubble, bubble, bubble. <laughs> Good idea, Bot! 
Well, then why don't we get him to do our work for us? <laughs> now that his energy supply's been cut off, that Reaverbot's defenses should be weakened enough that he can be damaged. I'll bet that once he's defeated, we'll be able to get the key. All right, then. Our alliance is over. Next time we see each other, we're enemies again. Understand? Okay. Okay. Come on, Bond. Let's go. Well, you look like you're having fun. Huh? No, of course not. <laughs> Why would you say that? Anyway, we have to make sure we get to the key first. Ready? Yep. yep. My instruments show the temperature is dropping steadily. It's really gone down in the room that giant reaver bot's in. I wonder what that means. Any ideas, Mega Man? No. How long was Mega Man Legends 1? Can someone go check my review site for that? Please. Please. Now that the lab has stopped, the giant reaver bot's energy supply has been cut off. You should be able to beat it now. Now he's shooting energy balls at me. That's never a good sign. What? Uh, okay. Uh, that's bad. Nine point two five hours. Well, we've already passed that. Like now. Yep, 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 yep. Twelve secret herbs and spices. Okay, we're not even up to done. We're like three fourths through this one, maybe. We might finish it tomorrow. We'll see. I mean, I spent a literal hour and a half just grinding today, Cycloud, so that's probably padding our playtime a little bit. At the same time, actually, I take that back. It's probably net going to be less time, considering we did the grind step. Hopefully, anyways, that was kind of the goal there. <sighs> wow, where did his body go? Did you find anything, Mega Man? No. What looks like a key on my scanner. Let's see. Yep, 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 yep. If it makes you feel any better, Evo, I have a lot of work to do during the short dark. So much work to do. Yeah, I was gonna say, now it's back up, right? And I am correct. Which is uh, back where I just was. Yeah, I'm gonna finish up the FF1 rewrite and get a at least a decent chunk of the FF2 rewrite done. 
the bare minimum, what I will consider to be the absolute floor of acceptability, is I want the FF2 rewrite script done before I come back to streaming. The more I have done, the better, but you know. the missiles being flung around in the, you know, the lava, and I've already jumped in the lava, so that's cool. Now, these don't have huge health pools. What are you on about? Oh my god, did you see how much damage that did? And we're dead. I don't have to imagine that Cyclob, that was the last dungeon. Yeah, the SNES did that sometimes, too, Euro. Look at Super Mario RPG sometime. Super Mario RPG actually changes its resolution based on which screen you're on. It's really strange.
the key is here. I guess it's in the next room. Be careful, Mega Man. Okay, I have one health. And I'm on fire. Okay, there we go. Do I have any heals right now? No. What I would love to see is Tron Bone absolutely freaking out over killing Mega Man. So congrats, you killed him. Oh my god! It would be hysterical. No! Congratulations, you murdered him. What? But I just... Why? Uh-huh, you tell me. You're the one who killed him. No! I wasn't trying to kill him. This is all his fault. If he wasn't being so stupid, I wouldn't have had... To... Ah! And she'd, like, try to misdirect it onto him, because, you know, of course she would. There's no reason to go on. What do I do? Now, then what happens, of course, is Tron Bond takes Mega Man's corpse and tries to rebuild it, right? But she's not that great at that. So she ends up with this, like, awful amalgamation Frankenstein thing. Which doesn't really work right. Meanwhile, Roll, this is the beginning of her superhero arc. Roll turns into, like, a straight-up vigilante. It goes goes full Batman with it. I must defend the night against people like Tron Bon. Or Tron Bone, excuse me, Tron Bone. Like there there's this point. She's like, why did you do it? Why did you do it? I didn't mean to. I just I wanted the love that you so unfairly took from me. 
I never had his love. But now, no one ever will. can't like kill these guys and they stay dead because that might be worth doing this missile section really sucks especially that there's so little way to actually see where the missiles are at any, any given point in time like there I, I I'm dead there's nothing for that because I literally couldn't see the missile coming well that's okay Zach Taft even Hitler liked good food doesn't make me Hitler. We're cool. Wait, am I Hitler? Nope, no mustache. We're good. God damn it, that's why. I never had his love. And now, no one ever will. And then Rawl destroys the, the, the Frankenstein Mega Man. <sighs> Tron Bones like, how could you do it? How could you kill your own lover? I don't know. Why don't you tell me? Says Roll to Trombone. Oh, god damn you in the eye. I feel like I can think of one Evo, but for some reason it's not coming to me. Hmm. No, that sounds really familiar. I know I've seen a game do that. I hate you and everything about you. Well, no, I'm not talking about, like, the StarCraft thing, because StarCraft does that, too. I'm talking about more traditional RPG kind of a deal. I'm also not going to mention Warhammer 3 for the same reason. Why would I hate... No, Evo. The game that... You know what? No, I'm done. No longer to respond to those kind of comments, Evo. You did it. You broke me. Congrats. I mean, Volnut is probably pretty weak relative to most of the Mega Men. He might be... No, I take that back. I don't think he's even at the level of Brock. That is to say, classic Brock. And he's definitely nowhere near X. He's probably the strongest one. Oh, Brakelin. Oh my god. Uh, south. Well, 
EXE Rock is absolutely nowhere near on the same power scale as any other Mega Man, because he's a freaking program. As for Star Force Mega Man, I can't speak to that. But Star Force Mega Man, by sheer virtue of being called Star Force Mega Man, is probably a little bit more anime and therefore is more powerful than God. Any questions? Well, I have a lot of items I can't make anything with right now. Look at this. Look at that. There's an interesting idea for the Mega Man rewrite. Maybe the final battle is like Mega Man.exe and X and Rock and Volnut all fighting the actual villain. Dr. Light, obviously. And Dr. Light will be the final boss battle. I like it. Let's do it! No, I'm actually pretty likely to remove Dr. Vile from even existing. He really doesn't add much to the narrative. And frankly, when they introduced him is when the story went completely off the rails. Like, that, I get what they were going with with Vile, and they even succeeded at it. Oh my god, these freaking missiles. I'm gonna make it through this room with one health. <laughs> what the crap, game? Hurry, Mega Man! The bombs will get away with the key. If you use that. To Yeah, imagine that, but not stupid, Blade Jamal. There's something inside that room. Yeah, the strategy guide says this is the easiest boss in, like, half the game, which... I don't... Nothing is more demoralizing, or makes me want to play a game less, than being told that the encounter I'm on is super easy. In addition to the obvious insult implied, it's not helpful. 
nothing is being conveyed, no information is being added to the situation to make the situation better. Instead, it's just, oh, you suck! And that's the end of the sentence. It's pretty much the exact same reason why I tend to hate the just get good mentality from over in the Dark Souls community. Because no information is actually being added alongside that at that statement. It's just, you suck, end statement. Hurry, Mega Man! The bombs will get away with the key! You know, I, I don't care. Honestly, can the Bonds just unlock the Mother Load and unleash Armageddon on the world? Can we allow that to happen at this point? I'm kind of okay with it. Really? Can, can we just make that a thing? Just sit back. There's something inside that room. Sip, sip our mint julas, you know. Everyone missed. It's okay. I'm told not to get close, so all I have to do is get it ranged and shoot while backing away from her. I mean, she literally has two attack patterns. makes this whole thing even more insulting. Oh, hang on, we've discovered a third attack. I'm almost shocked. The best part is I have no healing. So, you know, if I get into a death spiral, I just get to do the whole fight over again. Like that. Why am I playing this game? That's an interesting idea, Imperial Star Destroyer. really, really vague, ill-defined idea that the Sigma virus, the Sigma program, is actually just something that Light built and put into X in order to keep them on the straight and narrow. Just random thoughts. Oh, hey, I can afford the armor now. Is free will or I'm that yes Trihexia I have done a lore run of the Mega Man series I am quite aware of that I'm talking about for the rewrite <laughs> yes I do Evo
Derivative of what, Trihexia? Everything ever made ever? Yes, I agree completely. There is no such thing as an original idea, and therefore, there is no reason to bother trying. So I don't. Instead, I just try to go for the best idea I can. And honestly, the more I think about it, the more I think I am going to have Dr. Light be villainous to some extent or another. Probably not evil. It's rare that I'll write a villain who is evil. I've done it. In RFF2, Emperor Mateus is evil. <laughs> he is straight up messed up evil. But I usually like my villains to have a little bit more panache to them than that. Oh my god. This room is the worst. Just, wow. It's the key. Hurry, Mega Man! The bombs will get away! I mean, you've seen our Diablo, right, Luke? Answer, no. Well, that's the kind of villain I tend to write. Although, admittedly, Garland in RFF1 is pretty evil, too, if I'm being honest. So that's two FF villains I've written who are evil. Tell you what, right now, the villain in FF3 will not be evil. I've actually already decided that. I actually have a pretty good mentality in mind for what I'm going to do with him. Or them, excuse me. Because there's two of them. Listen, it's okay, Loke. You don't have to pretend just for my sake. I know you'd secretly rather die than watch a pro project that you yourself were in. Although Bregan was like that for a bit, I had to just... Twist her arm to get her to watch the parts of the theater she was in. Well, define villain for me and I'll answer your question, but I'm referring to the Cloud of Dark... Excuse me, the Cloud. And Xan. Thankfully, you saw reason, Evo. Right? I mean, could you imagine? The rage. The torment. After all, I would have been very disappointed in you if you didn't actually show up for it. Do you not notice 
that your own clothes have been torn off. The Queen of the Changelings and the King of the Crystal Empire. I can't think of anybody's names right now, Sean, forgive me. But those are the only two villains off the top of my head that I would absolutely say are evil in MLP. The, most of the others that could be brought up for that are at least questionable, but those two are no reallys. The key's gone! Yeah. Mega Man, he's getting away! Oh no. That's a Chrysalis and, and King Sombra. The fact that they are the king and the queen, totally unrelated. Frickin' Hasbro. Mission start! Alright, I got this. Oh, her design is fantastic. So is her uh, actress while we're on the subject. Frankly, ditto for Sombra. He had a whole shtick going, too. You don't catch him oh, no. Where is it? There it is. You did it, Mega Man! Now we've got only one left. Roll, I'm standing in the lava. Can we have to... Okay, okay. I... Alright. She's like, hey, Mega Man, I want to talk for a minute. Uh, can it wait? My feet are literally melting! Ah! And then Jay Palmer kills me. <sighs> okay. Yes, Jay Palmer knew to strike me just when I was at my weakest. Uh, do I need lava protection for anything else? Real question. As opposed to, you know, all those fake questions. Uh... Think so, Jay Palmer? Yeah, my weakness is lava. It's a pretty normal weakness, actually. A lot of people are weak to lava. So, a couple things. First, the Shining Laser, you can't fire while moving, which does limit its use for me. But second, and arguably more importantly, it costs 18 million zenny to finish upgrading. Oh no, nanomachines all the way, Trihexia. How much do I have? I think I have 100,000. I have, no, I'm sorry, I have 9,910. So, not as much. A little bit less, a little bit less.
Time to grind. I mean, if you want to be 100% honest, we never beat Mega Man Legends 1. Down, one to go. Even I can't believe you've done this well. Good job. We only have one key left to recover. It lies in the ruins of Yos Yosyonki, however. All the pirates appear to have joined forces and are getting ready to attack. Didn't they join the forces at the beginning of the game? Although it looks like they don't have enough manpower to take over the city, they've outfitted a train with various weapons and are threatening to destroy the city unless we give them the key. Again. They know this is the last chance, so they're likely not to pull any punches. You watch yourself. Be ready for anything. Your first priority is to protect the city. Once you've dealt with the pirates, talk to the priest. Good luck. Hey, pay me! Or let me buy your stuff from the shop for free? Do I get anything? No? Okay. Actually, I have something to sell. That. Hmm. Pat's on the back. Wait a minute. Here we go. I was about to say, I'm supposed to have Omega stuff for this dungeon. Well, there it is. So I want the Blaster Unit Omega, the Buster Unit Omega. The Power Blaster Omega. I cannot afford that. Can't afford that. Hmm, hang on. Not a bad spread. Cheat flag is still off. I say, is there better armor than the link armor? Real question, because I might spring for it if there isn't. You know what I mean. I still have a normal ass helmet. I never put on the link armor. Ah! That's actually funny. Kevlar Omega. Hmm. Okay. In that case, hang on. So what we're gonna do? Hang on, hang on, hang on. We're gonna put on the Link armor. And then we're gonna sell a bunch of stuff. Like all this crap, just all of it. We could sell the pig. <laughs> Don't grab that. No, that tracks, Zachdeft. Although I wouldn't say they're endless, but it still tracks. There we go. We 
now have maxed attack damage. Apparently nothing, Trihexia. That's right, my kick is super strong now. Well, yes and no, Jay Palmer. Because we had the worst dungeon in the game, and then we had a decent enough dungeon, which is the one we just did. Yes, Sackdaft. Tell him he was lying! Tell him to his face. The what? ISD? The hover shoes? That's clearly what you mean, right? Right. Yeah, it's, it's getting kind of late. I don't care! Sorry, not you guys, just... An ad. It was an ad. Those are not fun. You know, at some point in time, the ad bubble's gonna burst. That's gonna be an interesting time, because do you know how many industries rely on the ad industry? Pro tip, it's a lot. Thank you, BlueDragon.exe. I do appreciate. Thank you. I'll put that towards the Mega Man Battle Network and the Resident Evil block. You got it. Oh, we can't make the cleated shoes yet. We get the cleated shoes in the boss we're about to do. Got it! Okay. I was about to say, uh... That's right, ads are too big to fail. Oh, great, Cycloud. I mean, last time it was the controls that made me give up on the boss fight. If you remember, it was literally causing me physical pain, and that's why I was like, all right, you know what? I wonder what that machine is. Do you think Joe made it? Yes. Two, please. He worked day and night till he collapsed. 
Dude, could you not? I knew you'd come. I don't know how. I just knew. I need to ask you something. Do you know the train? I modded that, modified that to help fight off the pirates, but I'm in no shape to use it, which means it's all up to you. Use it to protect our fair city. I was dreaming this morning. I was with my family and we were laughing happily. I miss them. Right, um... Listen, Evo... Yeah, I, I mean, Roll's dad. Stop working so hard. A few arrows to run. I'll be back soon. I mean, true, Cyclone. Ten years ago, we tried to land on the Forbidden Island. And now you're trying to succeed where we failed. He can do it. You can trust him. He's the one, Roll. Why would you drop the photo of... I'm so confused. I swear to God, Evo. I'm gonna lock you in a holiday. And then come back and find you've been working for 30 hours nonstop. Anyways, your dad... Who is... Go talk to your dad! He's right there! Okay, okay, let's go. Isn't the main gun fixed yet? It can't even hit the target! Shooting it once destroys the barrel! What kind of cannon is this supposed to be anyway? I told you it was still under development, but oh no, you just got to fire it, don't you? You not only knocked out the gun, you disabled the main reactor as well. Anyway, it's fixed now, so let's get a move on, shall we? At this rate, it'll be nightfall before we get to the city. Can't they take anything seriously? Hey, Clay, your problem is you're too serious, you know? Besides, aren't you a little ashamed of yourself? I mean, a big fella like yourself getting trashed by that kid. You're getting old, man. I've had enough of this circus. I'm out of here. Hey, wait! Bola, wait! These fools can't do anything right anyway. I guess it's high time I was getting out of here, too. Hey, Diesel! You heard Paula? You can do the rest of it yourselves. See you around! Hey, hey, wait! Hey, Claymore! Who cares? Let him go. That leaves more for us. What? What? Come on, Teasel. Stop your whining and start acting like a man. Why do I put up with that wimp? Who does he think he is, anyway, talking to me like that? Oh, this is what happens when you don't have any money. We have to scrounge for parts to build our machines. We have to ally ourselves with people like that. We'll never win like this. He's here! It's Mega Man! He's using a train, too! Here he comes. We can start moving any time. Cookie! Please do try to keep up, Teasel. I'll make you eat those words, Clyde. All right, boys! I don't want to see any slacking. Let's move out! Good mind, Chef. Full speed ahead. How can you build flying ships, mechas, and trains while you are piss broke? Mission start. What do I want to know? A fire incoming bomb. Keep at it, Mega Man. I can't even reach them. There we go. Now look what happened. Can't you both do anything right? Like, I'm, I'm happy to not be frustrated on the boss, but can I do something other than hold down two buttons the entire fight, please? Is that, is that too much to ask? Uh, 
I am sorry, Glide. I don't have any choice. What are you babbling about now? Wait, you're not. We won't forget you. Glide, good luck. Farewell. <laughs> See you around. Tron, do it. Releasing Glide's car. That would make a lot of sense, Moon Knight. I'll get you for this, Tizo! <laughs> Sayonara, Glide! Okay, that takes care of Mr. Glide. Now, we have to fall back and regroup. Full steam ahead, Bond. <laughs> I was going to, and then the targeting decided to screw me over. That uh, game. Her. That's a thing that happened. Listen, have you ever stepped on a Lego? That hurts. Okay, I know I just said I want something more engaging than holding down two buttons, but I'm, I'm not sure if this is what I had in mind. Look at his face, he's crying. As he's, why do they even need to ride the rockets? They're rockets! I do not, Trihexia, no. My niece does, though. Look at their expressions! That's a good question. I don't know, Cyclone. I don't really know what the difference is off the top of my head, so I'm sorry. Take this! Take this! That's how you're... That... That makes too much sense, which worries me. Listen to me! 
You little blue twerp! You haven't heard the last from us! I'll get you if it's the last thing I... And he's dead. I guess we won't be playing The Misadventures of Tron Bond because she just died. Mission complete! No, it's okay. We know what happened because we've already seen it. We just blew her clothing off. Now all we have to do is go back to the church and get the last key. Come on, Mega Man, let's go. Because she has a crush on her, him, Evo. And I don't... No, I don't understand. Last I checked, you're supposed to be nice to people you have a crush on. I don't know, maybe I'm just weird. Actually, Steve Nellis, I think this animation and graphics generally hold up well now. And I mean that sincerely. I know what Sundere is, I just don't agree with it. It's just kind of a dumb concept if I might be so bold. So... Alright, we need to do this. Uh, nope, body parts, body parts. Shoes, pleated shoes. I was hoping we'd have, like, spiked, you know, cleated shoes, but we don't. I'm actually sad. What's a Sundere? You really don't know? Should I tell her? Should I shatter Evo's innocence? I mean, I've said this before. I think this game would look worse in original worse at resolution and on a CRT, but I think about all such games. I think this game looks perfectly good, as is. But that's just me. I don't know, Evo. What's it worth to you? Please, please don't do anything like that. I was just joking. I'm just joking, I'm sorry. Oh god. Oh, I know, Cyclone. You mentioned they got rid of that slowness in the PSP version? Question mark? Hmm. I've been wondering why there's a save point in here this whole time. I guess this is why. Of course, the evil church would have a, you know, a dungeon in, under it. And it's a nice dungeon! So, you know, that sucks. Hypothetically, anyways. How much does it suck? This place looks pretty cold. Good luck. Ahem. <laughs> How much does it suck? We'll find out tomorrow at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. <laughs>